I'm Sandra. I'm Kevin. I'm Grandma. And welcome to uh, Cooking with Grandma. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so today we made Mohinga. A traditional fish noodle soup. Fish from Burma. Mm -hmm. So here we're pounding two stalks of lemongrass. Hey Sandra. Six feet away. <laughs> All right, Sandra, now you see Grandma do it. Just imagine. Let's see how you do it. Your, this is your worst enemy's head. <laughs> <laughs> You're really angry at them. But you can really smell that lemony, grassy smell coming out from the lemongrass. This reminds me of a video I was watching. And then, like, it's a BuzzFeed video. And the person who was cooking was like, okay, now gently tap the butter with your rolling pin. And then she went like, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rie from BuzzFeed. Yeah, wait, did you watch that video too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The next set of aromatics is the ginger. So this is a, as with every Burmese dish, you need a little bit of lemongrass, you need a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of onion later on too. So as Sandra's peeling the garlic, the ginger, <laughs> as, uh, yeah, as Sandra's peeling the ginger, uh, she'll also pound it so that we get all the aromas from the ginger too. I used to peel, take so long to peel because I would like try to skin it so that I didn't waste any of the meat because I definitely like cut one too thick so I just rotated it so I didn't start and that was too much meat. <laughs> it was going to soup. It just looks like a waffle now or yeah. a french fry. They this cut is how Chick-fil-A uh, <laughs> waffle fries. <laughs> they use this. <laughs> And they pound it. And they the pound potato. it. And they pound the potato into shape before they cook it. <laughs> so right now we've got the lemongrass and the ginger in the pot. We're gonna add mm. two pounds of basil fillet. All right. And about a teaspoon of turmeric. And then <laughs> a couple oh. just splashes. Just a lot. Just a couple splashes of. <laughs> fish sauce. We don't taste it. We want you taste water. And then we add some water. Balala. Yeah, it's water. water. Balala is how much? This is also so, a language learning video. <laughs> uh, now that we've left it to boil, we've got to wait it for it to cool down again. What? It's really delicate. All right, now that we've uh, had the fish shaking. sitting in the ginger and lemongrass, as you can see, the fish has turned into a nice yellowy color. It looks like we fried it, but we didn't. Pro it chopstick seals here. It's very... <laughs> <laughs> So what we're adding the fish to is a Burmese curry oil blend. So it's like oil and you sweat onions and garlic in it and you add a bunch of, a little bit of turmeric, but a bunch of paprika and chili powder. Hi, editing Sandra and Kevin popping in. I'm not letting Kevin speak because when editing this, we found out that Kevin throughout the entire video was speaking at 0.5 speed. So that is why he randomly um, sounds like um. a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> there was one meal, I think last Sunday, where we were just cooking basically different kinds of meat in, in this oil oil. <laughs> curry oil, yes. Yeah. Actually, I actually have no idea what to do next. <laughs> this is where we call grandma. <laughs> so grandma just said to mash up the fish as finely as possible. See, na, na, na. Yeah. Add some oil. Add some little oil. Uh, and just cook down the fish so that all the juices of the fish come out and intensify. But it was done, but Jam Grandma was, is judging the cook. Oh. Apparently, we didn't cook the fish long enough. We've got to let it dry out a little more. He's also added the shallots, the whole shallots into the stew or the, the soup base. The fish is coming along quite well. It's uh, drying up a little bit. As you can see, the fish is all in there. So we have this rice flour that's been toasted. Um, soaked it in water for a little bit. The reason why we toast it beforehand is so when we pour it in the mixture, it doesn't get like clump up. Um, so this just helps thicken up the broth a little bit. Mm. Tasty. Oh, she's ready with the water. Grandma with the water. She knew. Boom. I feel like this is enough for like six servings, eight servings. Right. Not like this, ten or twelve like this last is time. Actually <laughs> 
Okay, I lied. This is definitely not the six days serving. <laughs> <laughs> Got the boiling water, boiling salted water, and we're using some fine rice vermicelli. Ma's adding a dash of pepper. Oh, quite a lot of pepper, actually. Alright, so what Grandpa's doing is he's uh, breaking up some deep fried pea chips into his uh, mohinga as a condiment. They've already squeezed some lemon and added some eggs too. Because we love our fried food, we also yeah. put fried, fried onion, oh, fried delicious. shallots, I'm and sure. onions, <laughs> fried shallots, and they'll also add some fish sauce for some extra saltiness and taste. But the jala, wait, why am I saying that right? Jala. But the jala. Kaona. <laughs> Jaila. <laughs> but Grandpa's given his seal of approval. And he's very picky. Here we have the completed product. I'm gonna try it now. With slurping and all. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh. Oh my god. Yes. He likes it. It's Grandpa like, literally finished it. He's, in, he's demolished in it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So she just asked where you were born, and Grandma says she was born in Burma. Grandma was born in the small town of Laputa in Burma. That definitely means she was born in a, in a castle in the sky. <laughs> So mahinga is one of Burma's most popular dishes um, and everyone within Burma, whether rich or poor, uh, eats it. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching! Tune in next week for another episode of Cooking, Cooking with, with Grandma! Grandma. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>